this team has got to be one of the strongest non-XL teams for the Open Great League. I got Walrein, I got Machamp, and I got Charizard. Now, all these three Pokemon, they're easy. They're all accessible. We've had many um, community days for Walrein. Also, Spotlight Hours. Same thing for Machamp and Charizard. It's also very easy to access. So, definitely recommend this team, especially if you want to uh, win. Now, I go in a 4-1 set. With this one, I do lose this first match. Let me tell you guys what should have been done differently. This would have helped. So, I swapped in the Machamp. They brought in the Gengar. Now, I should have worked up to the Rock Slide and then baited with the Cross Chop. That way, they would have used the first shield because more than likely, they would have shielded because Gengar is a glass cannon. And that way, once I had once I had done that bait, done Rock Slide the second, and I would have been able to reach that Cross Chop at the end that you see that I, I didn't make. <laughs> and my wall rain wouldn't have been nuked with that Focus Blast. I, I didn't want to shield that. But now, unfortunately, bye-bye, Walrein. They bring back the Surf Fetched. They got a Night Slash. I knew I shouldn't have done that. I honestly, I knew I should have taken that move. Um, they now bring in the Dragonite. And I'm going to go ahead and do Dragon Claws, but it's it's way too late at this point. And if you haven't already, please leave a like and also subscribe, especially if you guys enjoy Pokemon Go content, especially Go Battle League content. I'm going to do my best this time around to actually make it to better in. And then who knows what we'll figure out if we can even reach legend but i still want to be able to reach it so bad so stick along guys subscribe join the journey so they finally take down the charizard all good on to the next match against the four and one set so the next ones will be win guys will be win so right here hopping on we got a wall rain versus wall rain we got the mirror match now for the mirror match honestly i just throw earthquake right away now it is possible that you know an opponent with more experience yeah they, they might try to they might try to catch you got to go and keep in mind to that so um my opponent there actually did a more veteran move they kept on going they kept on doing it and they didn't cmp that's okay um at this point i'm just gonna go ahead and throw the earthquake right now um they're still going you know they're not looking to cmp very good on their part and at this point they're gonna shield but i'm not gonna shield because more than likely this is maybe gonna be a bait I don't play the I don't play the baiting game with this matchup. Look at that. They did an ice cold spear. And now I'm thinking, you know, maybe they reached the earthquake, but I'm still not gonna shield. They're most likely look, it's just another ice cold spear, and now I got them shaking in their boots. Gonna go ahead and do the earthquake right there. I don't know if that was CMP or not, but I'm gonna do the earthquake. Boom. And it and it doesn't take it out. Man, that Walrin is built like a tank. So I'm gonna take, I know it was an high school spirit, that's all good. Gonna go ahead, get that one fast move. And I one switch and I got two shields up. And I'm still able to reach another high school spirit. My wall rain is um like rank 76, you know, so so pretty good IVs, very good IVs. Managed to get to another one. And now I'm gonna bring in the Machamp, which is right what I wanna do because imagine my Charizard having gone paired up with this. Mm -mm. So I'm gonna shield this first one. Gonna shield this first one, and now this one, I'm gonna let go. Um, I don't want to invest my next shield. Doesn't make sense to me. Gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna farm a little bit more, and they end up bringing a Clefable. And luckily, they're not running Charm, otherwise that would've done a huge chunk, because I was a bit late in switching there. They're running, um, they're able to get to move, and I let this first one go, I'm like, well, what can it possibly have? You know, other than Moonblast, and, but it did a lot more damage than I thought. Charizard, of course, isn't known for the best defense, but it's average. So, but they do, that did more than I thought it did. And especially because it's not stab. But I managed to reach another blast burn. And now just to mention, so IVs matter up to a point. Right here, this Charizard has the worst IVs. Um, has like 14 attack out of 15. So I win CMP. And honestly, sometimes that's what I like. I like winning CMP over the mirror match. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead, Dragon Claw. I shielded because I mean, Machamp has a ton of energy, but I wanted Charizard to take out Swampert because there's nothing better than watching a fire type win against a water one. So, moving on to the next one, guys. We got Wall Rain against Gyarados. So, very good matchup. We're really good here. I thought they might switch. That's why I'm taking forever to throw a move. So, I finally decided to throw the Icicle Spear, and this does a ton of damage. And now I realize why, too. 
because Icicle Spirit got on a got buff. I think now it's it went from 55 to 60. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. But it did get an attack buff. I just as to how much damage it does. I, I I still don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's at 60. So they end up throwing the crunch. I'm gonna go ahead. I I I'm gonna undercharge it. That way I'm able to get one fast move and whatever it's gonna come in. Hopefully I can throw a move. A Toxic is gonna come in. I'm able to reach an Icicle Spear. I don't want to try and take chances and try to get to an Earthquake. So I, I don't know if I would have made it. And I doubt it. No, I definitely doubt it. So they take me out. Now I got the Zard lined up right where I want it. At this point, it's done like, I want to say like nine counters. So at this point, I'm going to shield because that's enough for a Sludge Bomb. And I shield well. I thought they might bait me. Luckily, they don't. Get some extra farm there. They bring in a Snorlax that has Lick. And I'm able to reach a move before them. It does take it a while to get to move. And even if it got to body slam, I'm okay. I, I'm going to let that go. But the opponent, as you can see, is still going. It's still going. And I honestly, to be honest, I thought it was just a body slam. And it and turned out to be an outrage. But that's still fine. From this range, I'm able to knock it out. I actually don't want to use my last shield. They got two shields against me. So, unfortunately, the opponent decided to save the shields for the next match. Um, but they're gonna go ahead they use it there now my Charizard has so much I got to the back-to-back -back. this was overkill I could have honestly had just farmed down but I wanted to see if they were gonna look to shield and there's a bit of a lag there it looks like they're, they're waiting to um, to see what's gonna happen and they get taken out at this one they're like why am I gonna shield so I thought maybe because sometimes some trainers are stubborn me myself included I thought they might use a shield but they don't use it again next match we got wall rain versus wall rain we're gonna play it out in a similar fashion we're gonna get to the earthquake and i'm not gonna bait i don't bait with this matchup they're gonna earthquake and now we're gonna earthquake so i lose cmp and i expect it because i have um like one attack ivs or i have like one attack out of the 15 but i feel like i'm good and i and i'm thinking i could actually still survive an earthquake so we're choosing to CMP right here. Um, honestly, um, I know that I lost, so I actually don't didn't have to do that. I could have just waited, but that's okay. I chose to CMP right there. Um, I'd rather just throw it off. And at this, this should be enough to take it out. But they end up shielding and they get like three, um, three there. So two more for the Icicle Spear. And at this point, I, I did lose track when I was originally playing. So I'm thinking, man, is this the Earthquake? I don't want my Machamp to take an Earthquake. So I shield that and, and they actually end up swapping out. And I don't have another answer for this Swampert. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the Cross Chop. As you can see right there, that should have been that should have been CMP. And it was CMP. Machamp won CMP over Swampert. So at this point, now what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to take this first Hydro Cannon. That's fine. I should be able to still reach and then I CMP again. I see MP again, and I know I'm annoying the heck out of my opponent at this point, and they're not gonna shield it. Because they don't shield, I'm not gonna shield either. I'm gonna keep that shield for Charizard and hope whatever's in the back, Charizard can deal with it. Bring in the Zard, and I take down the Swampert, one wing attack, and now they're gonna go ahead and reveal that they have a Sceptile. That felt so good. As soon as I saw that super effective damage coming in, I'm like, we're good to go. We're in business. So. They're gonna go ahead and do an arrow lace. I'm not using any shields. I don't think they got to any crazy move. They try to catch with a wall rain, and because they they didn't catch, they decide I'm I'm giving up, leaving this match, and that's a wrap. On to the last and final matchup. We got wall rain going in against a Haxorus. So that's that's what you want to see. That's exactly what you want to see. Now this was a little awkward. I stayed in. I had no idea. They they swapped out to Chandelure. And I'm like, man, what do I do here? I farmed up all the way to the Earthquake. They decide to let it go. Now I'm going to bring the Zard. And this is going to get a little awkward for me because I I lost track of what I, the counts and I'm beginning to misplay. It's just a Flame Charge. And in my head, I was thinking, dude, this has got to be another Flame Charge. But at this point, I'm like, what if it's a Shadow Ball? I don't want to get nuked. I would definitely get, get, get KO'd at that point. And I don't want to lose against a Chandelure. I don't want to get um, swept, so I'm going to go ahead and do Dragon Claw because now it's double um, buffed up. So the good thing is that Chandelure is so classy. So this Dragon Claw almost takes it out, and I'm able to take it out. Win back switch, 
and now I'm hoping I can do the Dragon Claw against the Haxorus, but they end up throwing right away. But this is okay. Now they're energy depleted. I'm pretty sure they're running Dragon Tail. And I just can't reach that last Dragon Claw. I clicked. I don't know what happened. It didn't register. But I bring in the, the, the Wall Ring. And they're going to go ahead and bring in a, a Weavile. And that's all she wrote. The Weavile is four times weak against the Mechamp. You know, it's dark and ice. So I'm just chunking, chunking it. And now I, I take that Avalanche. And I got a Cross Chop built. I honestly, I could have thrown one more counter, but I'm gonna go ahead and just throw it right away. Throw the cross chop. Boom. Now, just one more counter, and that's all she wrote. So, that's a 4 1 for you guys. Definitely recommend using this team, especially, you know, because it's so hard to build an NXL team or to have a legendary. So, these Pokemon are very easy to access. If you try the team, let me know how it works out for you. Thanks again for watching this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.